Welcome everyone to a fresh new week here at Naked News. We've got a great show for you today, including a hot edition of Pillow Talk with sexy guest Jenna Jones. And speaking of hot, summer is fast approaching, which means so is the Atlantic hurricane season, which runs from June 1st to November 30th. Details on how that's expected to go are kicking off today's news. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has released its 2024 Atlantic hurricane forecast and it could be a doozy. Near record high Atlantic water temperatures and the Pacific's La Nina conditions are in effect this year. Because of that, the NOAA is giving an 85% chance of an above normal season, expecting a range of 17 to 25 named storms. Of those named storms, 8 to 13 are likely to become hurricanes and 4 to 7 of those are expected to be major hurricanes. In other news, we've got some shocking numbers regarding diet drugs and who they're being prescribed to. This comes from a new report in the Journal of the American Medical Association. In just three years, the number of young people between just 12 and 25 years old being prescribed drugs like Ozempic has risen 600%. As of 2023, over 60,000 American patients in that age bracket were prescribed Ozempic and similar drugs monthly. Childhood obesity in the U.S. is around 20% with the National Library of Medicine calling it an epidemic. Maybe it's time for more outside activities instead of screen time. Hmm. And Tesla shareholders are being urged to reject the 10-year $56 billion pay package the company's board of directors has recommended for Elon Musk. Back in April, the board recommended the massive payout, saying Musk's work has, quote, helped to generate significant growth in stockholder value, end quote. This despite huge drops in sales and share values and, of course, all those layoffs. So now, a proxy advisory firm is calling the deal excessive and pointing out how much of Musk's time is spent on his other companies, like X. Tesla's annual meeting is on June 13th, so we'll find out soon enough what happens here. If it passes, it will be the largest pay package for a CEO in corporate American history. I'm hoping it doesn't. <laughs> That's your first look at the news. Don't go away.